a noise. Okay, okay, I understand. When you uh, speak, hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Hi, give me a second. Good evening. Okay. I have some issues with my earphones. <laughs> okay. Hi. It's a raining. Hi, it's a raining where you live. Yes, it's raining here, teacher. Yes, <laughs> it rained a lot. Yes. Heavy rain. Here is it is not raining. Really? Yeah. There was a big rain almost an hour. I was scared. I was like, hopefully. We ha still have electricity, we still have internet. <laughs> I live in San Juan, no Nualco. No way! Ah. Yeah. That's going to the airport, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's because I got lost one time. I went. <laughs> okay. Because uh, Google Maps didn't guide me correctly. I was supposed to be going to a place called uh what is the name of this place wait a minute it's a place called pato canales i think ah, ah, pato canales. exactly ah, so yeah. i was driving astray and then the the application told me to return i was like i don't think i have to return so i saw the place yeah mm -hmm. Beautiful towns, actually. Thanks. Yes. Welcome, <laughs> everybody. Ooh, it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. It's raining here. It's raining it's too. Nice. It's, Good evening. It's Friday, and we are in class. <laughs> <laughs> we are blessed. <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. We're going to take a shower. Yes. <laughs> it's raining a little. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Sorry, I apologize <laughs> for the inconvenience. Okay, this is our class number 13, right? Are we ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Of course we are. Okay, <clears throat> let's get started. <clears throat> I told you we're gonna start with a new topic today. Guess which topic is it? Yes. <laughs> guess, guess, guess. Uh-huh. Yeah. Any idea? I don't remember in the platform what uh -huh. is that. No. <laughs> the, the it's a very thing. interesting topic. Let's see who's familiar with the topic from the platform. What would you do? What would you do? Exactly. That's a very, very common popular question in English. What yeah. would you do? It's a, a hypothetical question. Imaginary, exactly. Hypothetical. Okay. Real unreal. <laughs> exactly, unreal. But it's something we always say. What would you do? Okay? Uh, so, really, that topic is, is beautiful. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> hard. It's a bit hard to manage, but it's a really interesting topic. I'm very excited about this topic, actually. Because once you learn this in English, you, you say, oh, I'm able to communicate in English. Yeah, I can say it's something. <laughs> I can say when something is an imagination, when something I am supposing could happen and what I would do. Okay, so at the end of this class, you will be able to describe imaginary situations by using a real conditional sentences. And of course, we got to get started. These are some stories of honesty. 
honesty. Taxi driver oh. returns Brazilian <laughs> soccer players World <laughs> Cup gold medal and $60,000 is rewarded with $1,000 in souvenirs. This is one story. The other one says, businessman tracks down owner of $750,000 and is thanks only with a phone call. A student turns detective to find owner of lost cash, credit cards, airline tickets, and jewelry. I'm an honest man. The student tells relieved owner. Homeless mom and three kids return lost four hundred well this will be four hundred dollars check <laughs> to owner owner helps family move into house of their own so these are some of the stories that happen but what would you do what would you do in these situations imagine that you are the taxi driver and of course i don't know if that could happen here but <laughs> Because we never go to the World Cup to start with. Okay. <laughs> but let's suppose that our players okay, go to the World Cup and they win a lot of money, of course, if they win the World Cup, right? But let's say not somebody from the World Cup, somebody who has money and take your taxi and you are the taxi driver. And this person forgets in your taxi now yeah many people do uber right so maybe you are a uber driver not a taxi driver anymore but uber and this person has something valuable money a wallet full of cash could be or a prize uh, a gold medal so this person forgets this valuable thing in your car in your uber so what would you do would you call the person of course in uber you can track the, the person right because of the app would you return it mm -hmm. would you call back the person or you would take you would keep the object <laughs> it's difficult now right it's difficult to decide so if you find something valuable in a place, in a restaurant, in a shopping mall, on the street, in a park, near your front door, what would you do? So this is imaginary, of course. We haven't found anything, right? So what would you do in these situations, right? People who return lost things sometimes get a reward. A reward is something that they receive because of their honesty. Is that the meaning of saying honesty pays? Have you ever found anything valuable? What did you do? It's hard now to find something valuable, right? <clears throat> the police probably find something valuable. <laughs> And do, do you think they return it or they keep it or what do they do with it with the things they find have you heard any of these stories i i think the the correct action maybe uh, um uh, would be to return it return it the to the, the owner or the, the the owner, uh -huh. yeah. okay. Or the money, or the wallet, or the cell phone, or the purse, the purse, uh -huh. the purse could be the cell phone, uh -huh. etc. Well, yes, it never happened to me, but it happened to one of my friends. He lost his wallet, and he had, I think, a contact number, and it happened that somebody called him telling him that he had found the wallet and he returned all the wallet with the documents. I say at least very kind of the person, right? Because when you lose your documents and start getting the documents, you have to invest time and money. So it's not very nice, right? So we're gonna talk about this imaginary situation, all right? So what could happen? 
let's see. We have a conversation mm -hmm. right here. And it says, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Say, thank you, right? <laughs> You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of night clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it and then you will go to jail. Hmm, you got a point there. All right, so this is the imaginary situation that you found $750,000. And what would you do? What would be the action that you would take, right? So we're going to practice this conversation. And I'm going to send you this conversation and this one. It's a very similar conversation. But this one says, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it to the owner. And the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'll go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep $750,000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day and then you'll go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. So I'm going to send you both conversations for you to practice, okay? So we're going to try to make us, let's see, a small groups, probably in trios, so that we could practice these two very similar conversations. All right? All right. Perfect. Let's see, we're gonna make five pairs. We're gonna work in pairs, hopefully. Look, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanks him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found... Uh, uh, 700. 750,000. I wouldn't, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to, to the small, no, to the mall and spend it. I couldn't buy love of, I love of nice. Clothes and years. Yeah. Jewelry. 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 Okay, thank you. Someone might also find out about, about it, and then you could go to jail. 
Mm, you got a point here. Okay. Change. Uh, now, uh, the, 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 good, or the next good. conversation. No, cambiamos. Yes. You feel and I am part. Okay, okay. Uh, look at this. Some gave phone $715,000. He returned in it and the owner simply <laughs> thanked, no, thanked him with a phone call. El, y el dueño le agradeció con una llamada de telefónica. Uh -huh. Owner simple, simple es como el, al, al, el dueño. Ah, okay. ok. Porque es una palabra compuesta. Uh -huh. eh, let me ask you. Ah, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. By practice the other conversation. No, no. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher, eh, eh, we have a question. Uh -huh. What means owner simple? Simply. Simplemente uh -huh. le dio las gracias con una llamada. Ah, al propietario simplemente le dio las gracias. No, no es. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Thank you. All right. Ok. Let's. Eh, you have another question. I read the, the other conversation and then look the, the word, the new words. The conversation is different. It's different. Um, yes. In the park, uh, well, in the number Kate, the name Kate. Yes, in, in the in the second is Load and Kate. Uh -huh. Load and Kate. And is different. The the second part of the cage. You hear in the second uh -huh. part? Yes. Habla sobre los casinos que tienen suerte en los casinos. Yes. Uh -huh. It's different. Where I I continue practicing. Look at this. Uh, some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner sends him uh, with a falcon. Uh, you're kidding me. If I found, if I found uh, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? Why would you do that? Well, <laughs> I go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice, um, in my case, several books. <laughs> um, cell phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, you might also lose it all in a day. What? Uh, you feel it? Someone might. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Go ahead with someone. Uh, with Philip. The. Ah. Uh, you might uh, also lose the law. La penúltima oración. La penúltima. And they say someone might also find out about it. About it. And then you could go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there. Oh. And I don't. I don't know what's meaning the the uh, some some sentences. For example, someone might also find out find out about it. 
And then we will go to jail. All right. Um, ah, I don't know. And now. Mean. And the uh, last. Uh -huh. The last. Uh, you will go to ponder. Uh, algo así como que tienes un punto ahí. Mm -hmm. Y la penúltima sería alguien podría también encontrar encontrarlo. Eh, y for for myself. You might also lose it all in a day and then you could go to hell. Hell. Jail. Mm, you have got a point there. Do it, teacher. Done. Sorry, I was just close in the rooms, okay? I didn't understand what you said. Uh, teacher, the, yes. the, the James or Hale? Jail. The, jail. Jail. Yeah, you may okay. go to jail. Okay, thank you. All right. Jail. Nobody wants to go to jail. <laughs> Okay. Yes. All right. We'll return it all the money. Yeah, I will return it instead of going to jail. That is the legal thing to do, right? That is the right thing yeah. to do. Okay. Yeah. Ready. I'm going to share the screen again for each of the conversations in case you have any doubt, any difficulty. Please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna use, hold on, I think this thing, all right. Look at this, some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Imagine, you return $750,000. And the person only say, thank you. How would you feel? <laughs> At least give me 1,000, right? <laughs> I feel awful. <laughs> I would feel awful, yeah. I would feel that I did the right thing. But I, I, think, uh -huh. I think he makes this a tacaño. <laughs> Stingy. <laughs> <laughs> a codo, <laughs> an elbow, <laughs> a Taiwan. Yes, I would say I did the right thing, but this person didn't do the right thing, right? Okay. So you're kidding? If I found this is where we start. Hold on. I'm going to do it like this better. If, if I, I found, found yes, $750,000, I, I I wouldn't return it so fast. I would, so I wouldn't, right? Why? No, you regresar tan fácil. No, yo no regresaría tan rápido. Okay. So the spotlight maybe would work better. So it says, you're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? Why? What would you do? Well, I would, this is the contraction of I would, I'd, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it so someone might also find out about it como que alguien más se podría dar cuenta yes my possibility <clears throat> yes. yes someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail hmm. you got a point uh. there yeah you're right 
Yes? Okay, so this is one version of the conversation, okay? <laughs> Let's go to the next one. This person says, uh-huh, Pat says that she, if she found $750,000, she would go straight to the mall and spend it, right? She could buy lots of nice clothes, jewelry, and jewelry. But the next person says, let's see. Again, let me get this one. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it to the owner. And the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? What K would do? <clears throat> well... I would go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money. So this person thinks that, he, I mean, she could play and make more money, right? And in a day, I could double the money in a day and keep 750000 for myself. For myself. So she could invest the money, right? <laughs> and keep $750,000. <laughs> and then there's another possibility, the other person said. You might also lose it all in a day. And then you could go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there, right? So this is hypothetically speaking, okay? This is unreal, something that is not happening. But if happened, what would you do okay so what about you if you found a lot of money what would you do don't tell me now escriban en el chat write it on the chat box <laughs> i would <clears throat> i would travel i will call the police i would what would you do if you found a lot of money okay i'm gonna read your messages on the chat it says if I found if I found a lot of money a lot a big quantity of money right a lot of money uh -huh, comma I will return it but you don't know the owner okay I would call the police and the police doesn't return the money. <laughs> so we're kind of screwed up. <laughs> okay. So if I found a lot of money, I would buy a new house for my cleaning. Oh, <laughs> she would invest the money. <laughs> okay. If I found a lot of money, I would return the money. Okay. It's a suppose, suppose, suppose. Exactly. It's imaginary. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Somebody else? Or I would travel all over the world. Yeah. I would open a new bank account. Okay. In the With bank now, yes. 10,000. <laughs> I would give a thousand for myself. Yeah, <laughs> and I will return the rest. <laughs> okay, yeah, some people do that because this time I told you my friend got his wallet and documents returned, but they didn't return the cash because he had some cash. They returned the wallet and the documents, but they didn't return the cash. At least he didn't lose the the documents. I mean, uh, after all, right? Okay. Eduardo says he's sorry, he's not able probably to connect. If I found a lot of money, I would save it in the bank. I would save the money in a bank. Remember that we have to use I would. <clears throat> but in the bank, uh -huh. teacher, but in the bank, uh, they have to uh, demonstrate uh, uh, how you got the, the money. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, That's what I was thinking. 
Yes, you have to demonstrate where the money comes from, how you got the money. If I found a lot of money, I would buy a new car. That's a good idea. <laughs> Me too, I need a new one. Okay, mine is very old already. All right, great. If I found a lot of money, I would found. I would fund a company. Nice. I would create a company. All right. Nice. Uh huh. Great. Awesome. All right. Let's see. Hypothetically talking, this is the structure. Okay. Unreal conditional <clears throat> sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. This is a little bit, maybe not confusing, but it's kind of tricky. Okay, I'm going to say this in Spanish, but it looks like they're still a little confused. Cuando usamos unreal conditionals como situaciones imaginarias que qué haríamos nosotros si eso ocurriera, ¿ya? Yes? Pero como es algo imaginario, vamos a usar el verbo en pasado, ¿ya? Yes? Of course, no es que estamos diciendo que sucedió en el pasado, sino que si sucediera, ¿ya? Yes? If I found, ¿ya? Yes? 750,000, I would, I could, I might, I wouldn't. We have all these forms. De expresar lo que haríamos. O lo que posiblemente sucedería. Yes? We have all these possibilities. I would, in the contraction, I'd. I would go straight to the mall. I go straight to the mall. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police. I wouldn't return it so fast. Yes? Obviously. Como decimos en español, la suposición al inicio es el verbo se tiene que expresar en pasado porque es algo irreal. Entonces decimos, if I found, bla, 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 coma, I would do this. Mm -hmm. Si yo fuera astronauta, como lo dirían? If I were. If I were an astronaut, I would be in NASA. <laughs> I would work in la NASA, right? So I would work in NASA. Uh-huh. If I were famous, I would be in Hollywood, right? If I had superpowers, I would like to fly, <laughs> okay? So you express this imaginary situation with a verb in past, but it's not that something that happened in the past. It's something that you imagine if that happened, right? Right. Let me see. I inserted an audio here but let, give me one second. Voy a dejar de compartir y ya lo vuelvo a compartir. Don't worry. Give me just one second. All right, let me see. This is my own voice, so I'm sorry. Unreal <laughs> conditional sentences with if clauses. And real conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would or i go straight to the mall. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. I might go to the police. I wouldn't return it so fast. Stop. <laughs> Did you listen to that? Yes, teacher. Yes. I'm sorry about it. I listened. Yes. <laughs> okay, that was just reading this explanation, okay? So, this is a structure <clears throat> to have it clear. 
the structure, if, the subject, and the verb in past simple. Okay, then in the result clause, we have the subject, the auxiliary would, could, might, and the verb, right? Of course, you can also invert. Yes, you use the subject first, would, and the verb, and then the if clause. Yes, for example, you say, if I found a lot of money, I would buy a new house. Or say, I would buy a new house, if I found a lot of money. Both ways is possible, okay? If you invert the order, you're saying the same thing. Yes? If I was a pilot, I would fly to Hawaii. Or I would fly to Hawaii if I was a pilot. If I was, it's possible, but it's not very formal, okay? I'm just clarifying this. The most formal way to express the unreal conditional is if I were. If I were you, te les ah, si yo fuera vos, ya lo hubiera. No, if I were you, <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> okay. If she saw a spider, she would run away. If we were explorers, we would discover a cave. Yes? So both ways is possible. Question so far? Do you no, have any okay. questions? No questions? All right, perfect. Bye. Yo voy a dar el inicio de la oración y ustedes me van a escribir qué harían en ese caso. Okay? I'm going to say the beginning of a sentence. For example, lo voy a escribir en el chat. Of course, you're going to write it on the chat. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. If I have a superpower, ustedes imagínense. If I had a superpower, I would do this. I would do that. If I had a superpower. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would save the planet. I would travel. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was just checking here. Okay, I would save the planet. Oh, by the way, today is Earth Planet's Day. Okay, I would save the planet. I would transform the world. If I had a superpower, I would save the earth and the pollution. I might be a famous girl. <laughs> okay, nice. Next one. And this one is interesting. This is a classic. Okay, I will help people. Yes, I will help people. I will help people. I will help people. A lot of help. That's nice. Okay, this is a classic and unreal conditional. If I were the president of my country. <laughs> and everybody. Ah. <laughs> That's a difficult imaginary situation. If I were the president of my country. Uh huh. <laughs> I would do anything I want. I would do anything that I want. Uh huh. I would help people. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 
I could I, I, guarantee the study, the free study for all, for everybody. That's great. I would eliminate taxes. Thank you, Reynaldo. Please become the president of El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. We pay so many taxes that I have not I have no idea what they are for. All right. If I were the president, I oh, would build more schools. That's right. I if teacher, I were yes. Teacher, how would you say mejorar? Improve. 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 Yes, I-M-P-R-O-V-E, improve. I would improve. Yeah, I would build more school. Yes, I would improve the education. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Another one. Another one. If I lost my cell phone, what would you do if you lost your cell phone? I would cry first. <laughs> I would improve the roads. I would buy another one. <laughs> no more choice. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I would buy another one, <laughs> a better one. I would close all my wallets. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I will give you mine. <laughs> okay, another one. This is a difficult one. It's a very difficult one because it has to do with your feelings. Okay. What would you do if you saw your best friend cheating on his or her couple? <laughs> You know what that is, right? This is a predicament. What would you do if you saw your best friend cheating on his or her couple? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't say anything. Uh huh. I would say thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> because they are free. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would cry <laughs> to avoid a pregnancy. All right. Oh, but it's your best friend. I mean, it's not that person is cheating on you, it's cheating on his or her couple fiance or husband or wife <laughs> all right good i will talk to her and tell her that i can lie because i i, I hate lies oh my god <gasps> that's difficult <laughs> yes i know that is a very difficult situation all right what would you do is the typical question, right? If you, and the very past, okay? 
What would you do if you could? If you could speak any other language. What language would you like to speak? You say, if I could speak any other language, I would like to speak English, of course. M plus English, I would like to speak French, Italian, German, right? So let me just see something right here. All right. I would travel. Uh -huh. I would travel to another country. I would travel to another country, exactly. I would like to travel to Australia. I would like to travel to Australia. <clears throat> see nice. uh, several animals. And see several animals. That's awesome. Okay. I could put an international website says here. That's great. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Think of an imaginary situation. What would you do if you uh -huh. I would get a better job, of course. Uh huh. What would you do if would, you? Yes. I would work in a call center. I would work for a call center. That's great. Yeah. If I spoke <laughs> English very well, if I spoke fluent English, I would work for a call center. Great. I would work in in Insafor. Uh huh. Could be another one. I would work for Insafor. <laughs> That's great. So, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. He no. will become no. my partner. <laughs> yes, he will become my colleague. Yeah, I could study in another country. Uh -huh. What would you do if you had 10 adopted children? Uh, I already have. I already have two children. Ado two adopted children. children. Oh, yeah. nice! That's so lovely. My best friend has an adopted daughter too. That she is a really. Teacher. What would you do if you have ten adopted children? <laughs> ten. Ten. <laughs> Ah, that's difficult <laughs> to imagine, right? Yes. I will have to work so hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I will be very busy. Uh -huh. And I need like, help. I would need them. help to take care of them. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Now, another difficult situation. What would you do if you couldn't walk? Uh, uh, <sighs> if I couldn't walk, I, uh -huh. I, I have, I have <laughs> Latinic. <laughs> <laughs> I work in the, I work in the Seguro Social, but I have the clinic. Uh huh. Yeah, I wouldn't be uh, able to have two jobs, probably, right? I yeah. have a plan B. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. If I couldn't walk, I would have to use probably a wheelchair, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Think of an imaginary situation. No, yo no voy a decir la imaginary situation, sino que ustedes la van a lanzar así para el pleno. Uh -huh. De esas cosas que usted dice, ¿qué haría así? Si? Uh -huh, Ajá, I will have um, to improve another business. Um, eh, aquí lo voy a escribir. Um, All right. What would you do if you were a teacher? 
<laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> I would have to teach. <laughs> I would have to work in a school probably. Uh -huh. What would you do if you had a car accident and you lost your leg? That's tragic. Mm -hmm. First, I would feel really sad. I would be depressed, probably. Mm -hmm. I would cry. Uh huh. If I won the lottery, I would go on a cruise. That's nice. I would go to the hospital, probably. I would stay in a hospital for a long time, probably. Mm -hmm. Insurance. Ah. I would call the insurance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Somebody else, tell us an imaginary situation that could happen. Are you ready for a that <laughs> situation? Uh huh. Have you an insurance? <laughs> yes. Have you got an insurance? Uh huh. If I follow studying in the university, I would get a job. Yeah. If I could go back to university, I would like to study a career in probably. How do you say staff management, I guess, or human resources management? Mm -hmm. If you could go back in time, where in time would you like to go back? <laughs> if I could go back in time, I would like to return to my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Of course, says Gracini. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. I return to the... Uh, and I am a teenager. Yeah. When I was a teenager, right? What would you do if El Salvador is attacked by another country? That could happen. See what happened to Ukraine? Or if it's, if a war is started, right? Uh huh. Somebody else. If I had a lot of hours, I could. A question ranch. Ah, horses. If I had a lot of horses, <clears throat> I could have an equestrian ranch. All right, nice. Great. Yeah, that would be great. If I could buy a land, a piece of land, I would buy a piece of land near the beach. <laughs> uh huh. If I had a lot of horses, yes, that's right. Uh huh. If you were a famous athlete, you say, I will go to the Olympics. If I could play an instrument, I would like to play the piano. So think about, think about different situations, right? I see many people have participated in the chat, but some people haven't. If I were a student in this course, <laughs> I would write my examples on the chat. <laughs> okay. And now Carla's laughing. Look at her. Hi, Carla. I would play a guitar. Uh -huh. If I could play an instrument. Yes, I would play a guitar. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We still have an exercise. Don't worry. Okay. Let me just move this. 
Aha. Tell me. <clears throat> what is the other part? If I were rich. Uh -huh. If I were um, rich. I wouldn't have to work more. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't have to work more. Not anymore. <laughs> if I were rich, of course, but I'm not. So I still have to work. <laughs> okay. If she were a doctor, she would give, give me, me a, medicine. a medicine. Yeah, she would give me medicine, right? So this one. Mm -hmm. you dance. Yeah. If we dance all night long, we will get, we, get really we'll get really tired. We get really tired. <laughs> If we dance all yes, night you get really long, tired. yes, <laughs> you would get really tired. And the last you one, Italian food. If you cook Italian food, I go to eat. I would go to eat with you. I would go to have dinner with you. Okay, mm -hmm. if you cook, especially lasagna. <laughs> oh yes, it's delicious. Yes, very delicious. Uh -huh. All right. Is there any question? So no, it's clear. Okay. Yes. If I yes. were rich, I wouldn't have to work more. I wouldn't have to work more if I were rich. Remember that two forms mm -hmm. are possible. <clears throat> yes. At the beginning, yes. the if, or at the end, the if. But if you put the if at the beginning, in punctuation, we use a comma, okay? If I were rich, I wouldn't have to work more. I wouldn't have to work more if I were rich. If you were a doctor, yeah. yes. Uh, nosotros en español, mm -hmm. cuando queremos, por el orden que está diciendo, nosotros decimos, Puede ser invertida en inglés, ¿cómo sería? The, dicen, other, the other way yeah. around. Or, the other inverted. Way around. or inverted. inverted. It can be inverted, yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. thank you. All right. If we dance all night long, we would get really tired. We would get really tired if we dance all night long, right? If you cooked Italian food, I would go to eat with you, or I would go to eat with you if you cooked Italian food. In El Salvador would be, if you made pupusas, I would go to eat with you, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I would go to eat with you if you made pupusas tonight, all right? Okay. Any other question, any other comment? No? No, teacher. No, teacher. Now you have this topic clear no? <laughs> to okay. practice and complete the exercises on the platform no excuses whatsoever okay. yes yes thank you all right i completed awesome. yet have a okay. wonderful weekend thank you teacher. enjoy thank and you. i see you on monday thank you thank you monday bye 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 bye